Here we go. So anyways, uh, yeah, the user interface is just so different from previous versions. We really feel like even people that have had a long time experience with the tool will benefit from the training. This training has been completely revamped by the training team. I really appreciate all their uh, efforts. Uh, you know, change from the old way that we were doing, which I, you know, it was it was useful. It was, uh, you know, got some points across, but I think this is much more um, uh, self-paced. It'll allow people to go online, get information. We'll talk more about uh, that later. So you can, if you miss something, you know, during the training or you had to miss a session for whatever reason, you know, you can just, you know, go online and download the videos and, and the, uh, uh, training material and step through the work, the uh, uh, example problems, etc. So, anyways, so let's go ahead and speaking of training team, uh, this is uh, the team. We got a a, a group of uh, very qualified engineers uh, that are going to be training different components of EE over the next uh, several days. Of course, myself, uh, lead developer of the tool been uh, actually working on this tool since 1998. <laughs> so uh, it's been a while. Um, Tom Mathis, he's right there. Uh, Project engineer actually is our, our new operations manager, senior hydrologic engineer, Anurav Mishra, right there. And uh, he'll be doing the intro. Uh, Jeffrey Joom, uh, right there. He'll be doing most of the sediment transport uh, kinds of uh, support. Um, Su Ting Lee will be helping with um, some of the uh, lectures, but also a lot of hands-on. When we have the hands-on session, he'll be available to help out. Um, and Wei Cheng Wu uh, will be working with vegetation and wave action uh, activities, and then I'll just be kind of coming in and out uh, throughout the, uh, the whole time. So you'll see, you won't see all of us here all the time. All right. So what we're going to be talking about, we got th this is a three-day session, really compressed uh, information. But we be again, because we feel like you've got a lot more resources online than you had a few years ago that we've made available, um, not just from the user uh, experience with um, EE itself, but also just the theory documents that we have with EFTC and, and other um, online resources. But today we'll be talking about uh, uh, an example with lake modeling. Whoop, went back. Lake modeling here, uh, just set up a model, run some simple tests, just show you how the, the tool works, kind of build in dye and uh, temperature into the lake, and then just throw in a water quality model. You won't build it from scratch, you'll just be building it uh, from uh, what we provide, the files that we provide from the, uh, the, the previous uh, modeling work, model development work. Day two, estuary modeling, so we can look at tides, um, open boundary conditions, how they're assigned, um, you know, with the harmonic uh, tools versus just a time series of uh, pressure solution, et cetera. Then we extend that on into sediment transport modeling, then uh, wind wave modeling, and uh, Lagrangian particle tracking, kind of building in steps. So you're learning how these things kind of, uh, the different modules turn on, turn off, and, and you work with that. Day three, um, the vegetation modeling. Uh, we've built in some new uh, capabilities, got a nice uh, um, demonstration of the, the vegetation effects on uh, the hydrodynamics. We'll be talking about that. Then I will come back and talk specifically about uh, all the new features that we've been adding to uh, EFTC. You'll see a lot of stuff in EE, the user interface, but we have made a lot of changes to the actual code, EFTC, actually with the Navy. Probably won't talk that much about it um, on Friday, but we've got a crater with them. We're, we're developing a, a prop wash model, linking it into EFTC so we can look at uh, ship effects on uh, uh, navigation and uh, harbor conditions. And then uh, we're gonna try to do whoop, a lot of this uh, Q&A in the afternoon, 
get your questions, interact with uh, you know any any issues, questions you guys have, and the whole team will be here just kind of walking around, helping you guys with whatever um, issues and you know things you'd like to talk about. So anything that we haven't covered, uh, we'll try to cover it there. So this is a pretty pretty intense um, uh, session all day long. You guys will be tired. <laughs> We've got a couple of, uh, what day are we doing, uh, Bridget's? Uh, tomorrow. tomorrow. So t at the end of the day tomorrow, we'll walk over to uh, Bridget's and just kind of have a little social hour uh, that uh, DSI is sponsoring. So that'll, um, you know, a, a little decompression time anyways. But with that, I'm going to turn it over to the installation of uh, EE10 on everybody's machine, EEMS10. Here, let's give you this. Hello, everybody. This is Anurag Mishra. Uh, we sent instructions to install EMS 10.1 on your computer and license code that is valid for next two weeks. So I assume you have, all of you have uh, EMS 10.1 working on your computer, right? So this is the repeat of that instruction. If you need it again, you probably have that in the email or we can print it out for you if you want to uh, look at that. So we can ignore this for now and then let's get going. So next will be the, the introduction to EEMS lecture and that's where we'll start.